Right now you're looking at three dots. In these three dots, I've captured the timeline of the looming threat, which is the revelation, the worship, and the ultimate embarrassment of the beast and the false prophet. Now, despite the inclination to call the last dot the fall of the beast and the false prophet, I've opted for the term embarrassment to convey my disdain for these two individuals set to bring havoc upon my people. Their impending atrocities that they will inflict on the men, women, and children that follows the true and living God fuels my indignation and indifference towards their fate. However, even though that's my honest opinion, my opinion is not what we're here for now, is it? As the beast and the false prophet ascend to power, we confront the most perilous era in human history. My role is to guide you through the divine understanding of this matter, helping you to make the right and informed decision when the time comes, because that time is slowly approaching. The man staring the Western European Union is identified as the beast. The Western European Union itself is also identified as the beast. To clarify, whenever the Bible mentioned beast, whether it's the man or the Western European Union, it will be denoted in brackets to differentiate. Exhibit A. I saw a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. The first is the Western European Union. The second is the man in charge of the Western European Union. Today we will be discussing the two most evil men to ever live, the beast and the false prophet. Small disclaimer, if I really go into detail, this video will be four hours long. So for the sake of time, we will touch on some of the main things you must know about the beast and the false prophet. My job is to help you understand what God said. Remember, here a little, there a little. More of this topic will be fleshed out in other videos. So don't ignorantly get upset with me if I leave out certain scriptures. Let's begin. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and a dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. The dragon is Satan the devil. The beast with seven heads is the Western European Union. There are ten horns on the head of this beast, just like there are ten horns on the head of this beast, but these horns are not the same. The ten horns on this beast, specifically the last seven horns, represents individuals that had a desire 
to bring back the Roman Empire to its former world-dominating state. We went over them. The ten horns on the head of this beast represent ten nations that will be under the control of the last horn on this beast, the Roman head, when he comes. This is called the Sars of Brussels. You are free to pause this and read the full thing on your own if you want to, but what we're looking for is in the last paragraph. Ten nations already belong to the Western European Union. Only Denmark and Neutral Ireland are outside. That's interesting. Now, let's be honest. Denmark and Ireland didn't have to be outside. What is stopping the Western European Union from adding Denmark and Ireland to the 10 nations they already have, making it 12? I'll answer that question. It's because the Bible said it will be 10 nations in the Western European Union. And even though these people are satanic and they don't have a clue what the Bible says, they will obey the voice of the Lord because prophecy must be fulfilled. It is not nine, it is not eleven, it is ten nations. And these ten nations will have one leader from their country representing them. It could be a president or a prime minister, it doesn't matter. The Bible calls them the ten kings. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. Remember family, when John was receiving this revelation from God, the Western European Union did not exist. So the kingdom cannot be given to these ten kings as yet. But today, the Western European Union do exist. So these kings have already received the kingdom. Only Denmark and neutral Ireland did not because they are outside. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Each of these nations are Catholic nations and they will pledge their allegiance to the beast and they will execute every desire the beast has upon the world for three and a half years. And to ensure that these ten nations will be loyal to him, he will make them sign a document called the Treaty of Rome. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. This Treaty of Rome document is one of the reasons these ten nations will not repent when they see God coming. Instead, they will try to fight against Jesus because they are under a contract. And I saw the beast, the man in charge of the Western European Union, and the kings of the earth, the ten kings that signed the treaties of Rome, and their armies. They are going to have over 30 armies combined. That is the biggest army in human history. Gather together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. This is Jesus and everyone he just rose from the dead and met in the air, Jesus with the people in the first resurrection and all the angels that did not follow Satan coming down to war. Side note, every religion on earth is looking for a savior that will come and bring peace on earth. This is how I know all these religions are false and the Bible alone is true. All religions are looking for a savior. My savior has already came and he has done the most beautiful thing any person could do for someone they love. He died for my sins so I can finally keep his commandments and have eternal life.
we're talking about the religious horn who is the pope who is the false prophet who is the abomination of desolation this is the most powerful man in the world which will have power over the beast which will be the second most powerful man in the world the beast will have power over 10 kings which will be the most powerful group in the world these 10 kings will rule over 10 nations with a combination of over 30 armies which will be the most powerful military in the world this military and their kings will make up the western european union which will be the most powerful government in the world and with their one world currency and their one world mark backed up by a one world religion let's find out a little bit more about this abomination of desolation and arms shall stand on his part arms is short for armies speaking of the 10 kings armies they will defend the abomination of desolation and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength and shall take away the daily sacrifice the people pretending to be Jews will rebuild the third temple. Rabbi Heim Richman of the Temple Institute is dedicated to rebuilding the Jewish temple. He sees the time since the Six Day War as a prophetic shift. And they will begin doing animal sacrifice again. And the abomination of desolation will put a stop to it. And they shall place the abomination that make it desolate. The beast will make it his number one priority to make certain that the abomination of desolation stands in the holy place, fulfilling the prophecy of Matthew 24, 15. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. So if you're saying God's laws is done away with and we don't need to keep God's laws, basically speaking evil against God's law, which is his covenant, you are going to fall right in line with this guy because the beast will applaud you and make the saints who keep the commandments look like the wicked ones. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Just like we tell you today, keep God's commandments and repent today. We will keep the same energy when the beast is there. Even though the beast will be killing us, the WEU will be hunting us, we will be the public enemy number one in the entire world. But those who know the truth will not back down because we know who our Messiah is. And the king shall do according to his will and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that that is determined shall be done neither shall he regard the god of his fathers nor the desire of women nor regard any god for he shall magnify himself above all sisters and brothers the scriptures is clear that the abomination of desolation will not worship any god because he will be the god and his power shall be mighty but not by his own power because he will be getting his power directly from satan the devil and he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. He's not only going to destroy people who believe in God, but he's going to also stomp down people with influence and money in the world. Anybody who opposes him can get it. And through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. In 
and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast. We're talking about the Roman head. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast because unlike the Most High, Satan doesn't care if you worship him indirectly. The Most High wants you to worship him with intent and honesty. Satan does not care what you worship as long as you're not worshiping the true God of Israel. And they worship the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Nobody, nobody would dare make war against this Pope of Rome, AKA the abomination of desolation. He will be the master of war because he will have the largest army in human history. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. Remember, Daniel said the little horn had eyes like a man and a mouth speaking great things. This is the same abomination of desolation we're talking about. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. God is going to allow this Pope to have unrivaled power and authority over the righteous and the wicked for three and a half years. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. These two horns on the head of this lamb is the Pope and the beast. The lamb is to mimic the lamb of God. People will think he is the most holiest man on the planet, even now. But when he opens his mouth, there is nothing but straight up lies and blasphemies. He speaks like Satan because that's who he represents. And the Lord is going to deal with him when he returns. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he do judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. This is the Lord coming with his angels and the people in the first resurrection. But I want you to pay attention to the next verse. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. After everything we've learned in this video today, let's rephrase verse 19. And I saw the commander in chief of the Western European Union and the 10 leaders of the WEU and the 30 armies gathered together to fight against Jesus, his angels and the people in the first resurrection. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. 